welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for the children. Uh, the of Sabrina. Yes. And I am RJ. This is Jay Rabbit. This is Real Talk Reactions. You got comments? You did it again. I do have comments. <laughs> All right, so the first comment I'm gonna read is from one of our patrons, Lasith, who says, love your reaction, guys, regarding Sabrina becoming a witch. The ceremony you watched on the night of Halloween was a tradition that every witch family follows, but that doesn't mean anything in order to gain witch powers. Mm. You have to sign your name on the Book of the Beast. The powers she currently possesses, those powers are from her father and she was born with it. They will fade away if she doesn't sign the book. Also, the witches can be killed, and that scene between Zelda and Hilda was possible due to special soil in their family bur burial ground. Otherwise, Hilda would have been dead. Oh, so she did kill her, but because she put it in that soil, like... Oh, so you can just kill them just like a human then. Also, I, I hmm. agree, weird sisters be, uh, bring a cool dynamic, and you guys will love and hate and understand them throughout the show. Okay. Very cool. Great comment. Okay. All right, and then a couple from YouTube, uh, Havoc6280 says, so RJ dated himself with a perfect Strangers reference. We are so happy we do the Dance of Joy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, Dennis D says, love watching J Rabbit watching scary stuff. Yeah. Thanks. I know. I get yeah. very animated. <laughs> She's a scary cat, but she loves it. I'm a scary cat, but I love it. Um, and then lastly, 12 Chapman says, Hello guys, welcome to Greendale. So this is not a reboot of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. This is an adaptation of the comic series Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Okay. The 90s TV show was based on a different comic series. That was for a younger audience. Ah, Appreciate that. Thank you guys, sense. as always, for the comments. Yep. Keep those coming. We absolutely love reading them. And without further ado, we're going to get to episode 30. It's just I saw you fleeing Principal Hawthorne's office and... Oh, that man, that man, that man, that man. Did he say something just hideous to you? He, he, um, uh, want me to call your aunts? See if they can come. Are you what? Did you hold? No, 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 no. I'm fine. I just got lightheaded. Like, just hold. Thank you, Miss Spellman. Miss Spellman, have I grown a second head? No, 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 sir. Okay, then why are you looking at me as if I had? Did you hear that, sister? Can you imagine how enraged he must be? Well, it doesn't matter. I don't want to be a part of his coven. I don't want hey, to be like, a You don't want to stand. Unseen arts, and I am certainly not going to stand trial. Oh, you most certainly are, Sabrina. You've been summoned, and not only you, Hilda, and I as well. We're on trial, too. And don't disrespect me. High priest or not, you're still a man. And I feast on male flesh. Okay, so I'm guessing she a demon then? He called her a demoness. Are you Daniel Webster? No. Why? What do you want? No, when the accused is confirmed guilty, not only will she abandon her mortal life immediately, but upon her death, she shall be burned for 333 years in the pit, as his pleasure demands. Wow. She pleads not guilty. I plead guilty. I thought you were tired. This about to be a trial, man. Another time, maybe. What the fuck's going on? I don't know. Is he a witch hunter? 
Because it don't look, he don't look like a witch hunt. We're starting desperate and running out of time. Just before the police What is she doing all day long at school pretending to be a damn teacher baby? I set a man free who had done unspeakable oh, things to a number of women. And after I freed him, when I wasn't home, he broke in. And he did those things to my daughter. Now, I, I know that I have done more than my share of bad in the past. But I think that I might be able to save you if you let me. It's a long shot. Pray, Satan. The Dark Lord will waive your punishment in the pit. He will even allow you yearly visitations with your mortal friends. But you must ratify your signature in the Book of the Beast, and you must withdraw from Baxter High and begin your studies at the Academy of Unseen Arts immediately. But this is perfect, Sabrina. We will await your answer tomorrow night in court. Ladies. It must be scary. She ain't so, got a mark on her. Oh, yeah, for them to come Because, I mean, the other option is benign. You know, we dump you in the water and see if you not drown. This deal. But the dark lord has been moved no, by no, a flight to show the mercy. She's right. I have to rectify <laughs> that. Think about that. Why yeah. offer a deal? Yeah. It's a trick. Remember whom you're dealing with. I didn't with. think that was the right word to use. It's so benign. <laughs> Sound good, though. Sound good. <laughs> Why is it alarm? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> um, can we move but beyond the back? Yeah. You've checked that very well. Before you keep looking. And just so I know, what am I looking for? So I'm looking at your butt. Yeah. I is mean, it on your butt? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? I hope he checked more than her back, though. Well, because it all it looked like was he checked his <laughs> Because <laughs> this area is good, <laughs> you get, to go. You get it, girl. I mean, I don't know what I'm looking for, but you get it. Don't fool me. Don't wait for me. Just get her to the court. I'll be only one with secrets. I'll just know Am I to understand that you come now before this court to endure the test of the witch's mark as described and demanded by your mortal laws? Yes, Father Blackwood. We request the examination be held in closed chambers. Denied. Denied. No, no stop. Well, you can't do it in closed chambers, babe. This is some feeble attempt to delay the agreed upon course of action. You sure? I offer in evidence a baptismal certificate from the Holy Mother Church of Greenland. She was baptized! Your dishonors, if this certificate is authentic, it would seem we have competing claims upon the soul of Sabrina Spellman. No, sir. What we have is a binding contract witnessed by her mother notarized and dated one day before, before? Edmund Spellman inscribed his daughter's name in the Book of the Beast, thereby <laughs> rendering the aforementioned inscription the agreed-upon promise. No, no. void QE deep. No and void QE deep. This court is adjourned to the shadows. Full powers are restored to the Spellman family. They already got instantly. Yes, Satan. Let me And now that she's under my watch and authority, I'll bend her to my will. We'll break her. Mm. It's always brute force with you, man, isn't it? 
I'm quite good at tearing souls apart. Mm. One piece at a time. She's the only one. You making her go blind? Yeah. What is this? I would ain't get this witchcraft popping off. I got quite a list. A little something for each of That was episode three of the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, and another good episode. Wow. Yeah, I really liked um, the reveals of like what took place in Sabrina's past. I thought it's very smart writing to have mm -hmm. both the uh, the fact that her dad snuck away and signed yeah. away, and or then, did he and really? He did. I mean, yeah, I, it's kind it's of legitimate, probably yeah. Is, yeah. And then the mom having had one up on the dad and did it a day before. I thought that was just such kept, great writing. Kept him human imps. Things I can't even talk. Kept the human instincts of a human being to be like, I'm gonna go and do the baptism. Yeah, yeah like, I know his daddy gonna be trying to do all that that uh, wicked shit. So, um, so I thought that was really great. I I really am loving the demon lady, the demoness. Um, the I demons. like I really like her character yeah. a lot. She's and I, I wanted to present this to you guys because I could not for the life of me think of the book series I've read, but basically. It's a book series about heaven versus hell, yeah. and there's a demon that who's very similar to her character in the way that it's mm -hmm. presented, mm -hmm. and she um, she's manipulating a certain human to have them either you know do the right thing or the wrong thing, and each okay. time whoever wins, it's a point for that that side. Yeah, um, I already know what that is. No, you do not. I do. Um, but. <laughs> I really like her character because it reminds me very much of that demon from yeah. that book series. If you guys can remember, if you guys know what book series I'm talking about, please comment because I'm like trying to find it now because I'm like, are there any other books that I didn't read? Um, but I know what it is. I really enjoyed that. It's so great now we get to see that Sabrina is in fact going to go to the school, which yeah. we were saying like that's something we yeah, want to see. Yeah, that had to happen. I already teased it so. And with that being said, too, I feel like we're going to get to see more of the Weird Sisters, which I'm very excited about because I yeah. absolutely and love their the dynamic. And the school, who all up at the school. And what do they do? Yeah, what do we, they learn? Is we, it like know, we know who the principal is, so it's going down. So you're going to have some bullies over there, blah, blah, blah. But the deal she made with the devil is she can live, still live both lives, okay? You can walk back over like, here, walk like, back um, over Like here. Webster said, you basically have a dual citizenship. Mm -hmm. you're, you get to be in both places. So She's a Constantine, basically. She can go in that world and our world, just right. like you know, just hang out. Or she's like my mama, you know, dual citizenship. That's true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, I thought it was a good episode. I'm very intrigued to see the first day of school yeah. at that school and how and that plays out. And hopefully, that ain't the last time we see um, Dane Webster. Shout out to Dane Webster out there in these streets, holding it down for the Wicked Courts. All right, good job. Yeah, he definitely good delivered. Good job getting it off with that lawyer And stuff. that was very, uh, that felt very much like devil's advocate. That was yeah. a very, like, yeah. I, I liked it. There's hey, a lot, he, of, there's a lot of things. the best of the best. There's a lot of things that, like, really spoke to me this, like, uh, episode. So I was very intrigued and entertained. I'm definitely excited to see the next episode. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for the Children's Adventures of Sabrina, Season 1, Episode Number 3. And until next time, people. And we'll shine five in the air. Let's go! I got the beat at B Lockdown. Cause I'm the hardest dude in the club right now. She got the beat at B Lockdown. Cause she the best chick in the club right now. I got the VIP lockdown. Cause I'm the baddest chick in the club right now. He got the VIP lockdown. Cause he the hardest dude in the club right now. Look, I'm on the guest list, walking past.